The timing couldn't be worse, the holiday shopping season. But now an international manhunt is on to find out who is behind the massive breach of Target stores. The team, led by the U.S. Secret Service, working with the retailer and credit card companies, trying to catch whoever grabbed potentially tens of millions of personal credit card information files before the hackers can maximize their illegal profits. It's a race against the clock, both for the bad guys and for the, uh, for the merchants and for Target, of course. The bad news? The guy who discovered the data grab says there is evidence the stolen information is already being used. You start to see uh, a huge number of, of stolen cards flood the underground market. You know something is up. The perpetrators likely came from abroad and got the goods on customers who shopped at some or all of Target's almost 1,800 bricks-and-mortar U.S. stores, headquartered in Minneapolis, not online purchases. They took point-of-sale information on the magnetic strip of debit and credit cards, including payment data, name, the three- or four-digit security number on the card, account numbers, or expiration dates. Most likely, the hackers came from Eastern Europe, says one of the world's top cybersecurity experts. All the big crimes come from offshore because there's almost no penalty of being caught. There's no penalty of going to jail. And so if you live in some parts of Russia or some other countries, um, the FBI or the Secret Service is never going to be able to get their hands on you. You can make a lot of money with very little risk. The good news is that Target says it has identified and resolved the issue that allowed the breach and calls this a sophisticated crime. But for those people whose information was compromised, the question is what to do about it. Check your bank statements for sure, but don't just look for a bogus charge at Target. Someone who has your information can try to use it anywhere. Target would not comment on speculation that cash register information had somehow been compromised or that this was an attack on their servers. Wolf. What a story, Yari Joe. Thanks very much.